of an alleged hate crime in 2019. Charlie DeMar reports. The actor took center stage at his own trial today, trying to convince jurors he did not choreograph an attack on himself. The defense attorney asking, were you planning a hoax? Smollett saying, no, there was no hoax. Smollett also denied paying the Osindaro brothers to buy supplies. And when asked why he didn't call police, he said, quote, I'm a black man in America. I do not trust police. I was also a well-known figure at the time and openly gay. I wanted to play a boxer. I wanted to play a superhero. The moment I got beat, I became an expletive who got whooped. Nearly three years ago on a frigid January night, Smollett told police that he was the victim of a racist and homophobic hate crime. Body cam footage shows the actor telling police that his attackers doused him with bleach and hung a rope around his neck, which he still had draped over him when officers arrived to his apartment. Initially identified as his attackers, brothers Abel and Ola Osindaro, in court, Abel told the jury Smollett orchestrated the hoax. Smollett was arrested, but unexpectedly, the charges were dropped by state's attorney Kim Fox. That decision brought protest, and within months, a judge appointed a special prosecutor to review the case. He charged Smollett with six counts of disorderly conduct for staging and lying to police about the attack. Smollett is expected to be on the stand for the rest of the night. The case could be in the jury's hands as soon as Tuesday, and if convicted, Smollett could serve up to three years in prison. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Chicago. The Justice Department is suing Texas over the state's new redistricting plan. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the new maps violate the Voting Rights Act by discriminating against minority voters. According to the... 